Tasmania and sadly Fred died in 2009. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> that same year, the Skeptical Movement created the Fred Thornett Award for the Promotion of Reason, affectionately known as the Fred, to honour Fred's significant contribution to our cause. The award acknowledges a member of the public or a public figure who has made a significant contribution to educating or informing the public regarding issues of science, reasoning and critical thinking. The Fred is composed of a commemorative certificate and $1,000 which is awarded to the recipient or to a charity or cause of their choice. The Fred has been awarded six times since its inception and I'd like to list some of the previous winners and you'll understand why as I go on. The first Fred was awarded to Tony and David McCaffrey in 2009 in recognition of their efforts to educate the community about the importance of pertussis vaccination following the death of their baby Dana at four weeks of age from whooping cough. Since then, three other babies have died after contracting pertussis. Ken McLeod and Wendy Wilkinson received the award the following year due to their efforts to tackle the ABM's egregious behaviour through legal and regulatory channels. In 2013, we awarded Sonia Pemberton, who sought to tackle community uncertainty around vaccination and did so to great effect with the sensitive and compelling documentary, Jabbed. Last year, the award went to the Northern Rivers Vaccination Supporters, <laughs> who have campaigned tirelessly to counter misinformation within their own community, sadly the National Epicentre of Anti-Vaccination Beliefs. And that brings me to this year. On the 17th of March, at just four weeks old, Riley Hughes, the second child of Catherine and Greg, died of whooping cough at Princess Margaret Hospital. He had contracted the deadly bacteria while he was still too young to be vaccinated. Three days after Riley died, the government brought in a new program offering free pertussis boosters to all mothers in the third trimester of pregnancy. While they were still deeply immersed in the raw grief of having lost their child, Riley's parents, Catherine and Greg Hughes, were forced into a world which no one would choose to enter. Recognising that their loss was one which could happen to any family, they set about delivering a message to the community and founded Light for Riley, which now educates the public about the dangers of pertussis and promotes the importance of vaccination <coughs> for the disease, particularly adult boosters. Like the McCaffreys, their mission is quite simply to protect other children and families from suffering the same tragedy that they experienced. Catherine and Greg, along with the group of dedicated supporters, work tirelessly to deliver this message. Like for Riley runs stands at Baby Expos where they arrange for boosters to be provided on site. They have, like Tony and David McCaffrey, been harassed and abused by anti-vaxxers. But in the face of this, they have stood up as vaccine advocates and provided a valuable source of counter-information to a vulnerable population. Now, just this Thursday, new statistics are published which indicate that cases of pertussis have risen more than 300% in New South Wales, the highest level in four years. We cannot afford to see the community come to harm through fear and misinformation. And it is for this very reason that the Fred was created. And while it speaks to the war, while the, while the the pattern of this award speaks to the worrying ongoing influence of anti-vaccination beliefs. Sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> it is for very, this very reason that the Fred was created and while it speaks to the worrying ongoing influence of anti-vaccination beliefs, that there is such a strong theme in how it has been awarded, we feel that acknowledging the great work being done to protect our most vulnerable by those who know better than any of us the devastating effects of vaccine preventable diseases the 2015 Fred is awarded to Catherine and Greg Hughes and Light for Riley. We very much wanted to have Catherine and Greg here with us today to accept the award, but just today they have been running a stall at the Baby Expo in Melbourne. In lieu of this, I'd like to invite Alison Gaylard of Northern Rivers Vaccination Supporters, last year's recipient of the award, to accept it on their behalf. Oh. <laughs> we have actually spoken to um, Catherine and Greg, and so they are aware that they have won the award and um, they are understandably overwhelmed and I know that they wish they could speak it too. And I'm so sorry, but I forgot, I, I'm inviting Heidi Robinson, the <laughs> other <laughs> previous recipient of the show. I hate the fact, I know Kath and Greg 
most years. I really wish I didn't know them. <laughs> but I do because of what's happened to baby Riley. And uh, we've built a strong affiliation with them. Um, we are just in awe of the work that they do. Um, the advocacy that they've covered nationally since March is just out of this world. It's blown us away. So on behalf of them, I know that this is going to a worthy cause and it will be going towards whooping cough research. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much on their behalf. <laughs>